I have an example of my own. So we got a client after they were working with an agency called Snow.io. They closed them for $50,000 for like a three-month period. So they were going to build everything for them. And those guys don't know shit. And in the video that I recorded, like the befores and afters and what we did to get their company to be profitable, I didn't say their name. But honestly... The, every day I'm just like, let's make a hit list of all of the agencies we need to talk. Like, Dude, this yeah, we should do that. We should just long. make a list of all the bullshit agencies and uh, yeah. all the good agencies will collaborate on it so it's peer reviewed. And you know, hey, just don't do business with these guys. Like whatever you do, you know, you remember, I don't even know if they're still around. Y'all remember Reach Local? Oh yeah, sure. Like dear God in heaven, the, I mean, the catastrophes they would build. And then the way that they would build their clients and the way they'd lock them into contracts and then they'd own like their landing page. So yeah. they'd own the website, they'd own the landing page, they own the ad account. And if somebody wanted to cancel, it's like, well, we have all your collateral. We'll basically own your business. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to go sell this now to the, the, the dentist across the street. Like yeah. it was a, it was a con job. It was, it was racketeering almost, you know, it was like a protection racket. Um, it crazy. doesn't look like they're still around. It looks like they got purchased. So you mean I can't go to clutch.co and look up a good agency and just get one there, guys? Yeah. I mean, it's why, not like why, those reviews are for sale. Why, why isn't that a valid place to find an agency if you wanted to hire one? Well, I, it wouldn't be that hard to fake that you're somebody. Like they say that they have an interview and I talked with them multiple times. Like I never invested my time into developing clutch. And then yeah. when they offered us to work with them and develop like this, the incredible lead gen system with them and everything. And I tell them we do not service like even Europe at that point, we didn't service just the United States. And yeah. then they send me two leads from Tunisia and Egypt. And I'm like, well, those Fuck are off. I'm not going to work with you. Like just those instantly just deleted every single contact from them. So that was my experience. That was five years ago. So it's probably better now, but you know, so uh, here we are um, bitching about what other agencies do. And I think if you're listening to this as a director of marketing or a CMO or even an owner operator, like these are things to be watching out for. Yeah. One, of, one of the most recent examples that I've had is actually a great company with a tremendous vision. And we talk about this a lot now, Gossam on perpetual traffic, like they've got it dialed in. But they are locked into an agency that will not allow them to see their ad account will not give them any insights into what they're doing. And they demand from the client, this big $60 million company in a very profitable area that they're growing like a weed. They're on the Inc. 5000 list. It's a great company. I said, great vision. They won't even do the creative. They tell them what to do without any insight as to what's working, what's not working. And they've held them ransom with a 12 month contract that locks yeah. them in and they have zero visibility. And we're looking at this saying, first off, this is wrong. It's not right. But that thirdly, it's, it's really hard for us to assess what they're doing. So we could actually say, Hey, here's what we were going to do for you because they own the ad account. They own all the assets. They're locked into this agreement and they made this mistake. Unfortunately, that's holding back their business. Now, the other part to this is that they have an entire offline business that's doing extremely well, which is great. But their online portion is being hampered, basically being uh, there's a ceiling put on it because of this agency who is diabolical. It's like they're just – it's wrong to do it that way. It just pisses me off to think about it because, like I said, they have a really solid business model. They're, you know, they're purpose-driven. And even in spite of that fact, they're still growing like a weed offline, which is great to see. But they're like, you know, we're kind of getting screwed by our agency. And what can you do to help? Like, well, we're, we're putting together a plan for them right now to help them. But we can't get real insights because we can't get access to the ad account. We can only sort of get, you know, give a broad overview of what they're doing based upon their ad library. And it's, it's agencies like this that if you're listening to this and you're shopping for one or thinking about one, stay the hell away from them. And I don't care if you hire us or Solutions 8. It, exactly. It's like, yeah. no matter if you hire us or, or anybody that's here on today's show, it's just plain wrong. And that's an old model. And it's a model that the platforms really hate as well, especially Meta. That's the reason why they don't have a partner manager. Their agency is just a scumbag agency. So... Um, 
things to watch out for here. So sorry, Costa. Here's here's where I'll own the 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 only time I'd ever own assets is if I'm the one footing the bill for the ad spend. So for instance, yeah. when we did real estate lead generation, it was my money. It's my account. Other than that, it's criminal. Yeah. Like yeah. it's criminal. I, I'm against long-term contracts, but I totally understand why some agencies choose to do that. And the business model sure. makes sense. That's a paradigm shift. That is what it is, what it is. And there's some agencies that have to, especially when they do a bunch of stuff that, you know, isn't performance-based yet. But if you don't own your own IP, your own accounts, your own, the work created, the work product, that's criminal. 